So for today, here I'm here in the tiny house, and goal for this video is to give you an overview of some of the things that we had to think about, Melissa and I, before we built our trailer, and also a overview of all of the costs that we had up until um, the end of um, 2015. So there's three things that you really have to think about with building a tiny house. One is the height. It can't be more than 13 and a half feet high from the road until the, the highest point on the house. It can't be wider than eight and a half feet and that makes it road legal. And it also can't be more than the um, recommended weight or the the um, the weight that the trailer can hold that you're building on top of. So for us, we purchased a flatbed trailer for four thousand two hundred and eighty nine dollars, and we had to put it on credit cards because we didn't have an, that kind of money laying around um, early. Well, around May of two thousand and fifteen. And um, so, so that was already a pretty big cost of the house. As of December of 2015, or mid-December, our house in total costed $15,334.78. And according to our calculation from our Excel spreadsheet, the total house weighed 8,663.5 pounds. Since December, mid-December 2015, we've kind of slowed down our, pros our progress on the house, um, partially because um, I landed a full-time job in May of 2015 and I had less and less time to work on the house. And um, it also required us to move the house, so that put more stress. But the major things that we did in 2016 um, were we purchased blue vinyl siding um, for the house with white trim and, one, and that costed right around a thousand dollars and then we also put in a stove, a wood stove, so we actually borrowed the wood stove from a friend for free and we had to pay about five hundred dollars for several pieces of single wall piping and then the full kit that goes through the roof, plus the roofing materials, which was about $250. And the fridge, not the fridge, the and the sink, which is a huge sink and it costed about a little over $300. We haven't really had to spend all that much more money other than that on the house specifically, very recently. And so that's why this, this, um, we can probably estimate it closer to $20,000 specifically on the house if you count the solar system. Okay, so here's the reality check right now. This is how we are financially. This is how we are physically in the house. And I just want to give a rough like guesstimate so far on what the total house costs have been with everything that we spent. So first, let's just start with the house costs. So I think... If I were to estimate, it would be between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars between everything that we spent money towards, including all of the latest things, including like the camp stove and all of these other things. Like Melissa got a rebounder, for example, from the Bellicon company, and um, all these little things. So I would say, again, twenty-five to thirty thousand that we spent on the house, which is pretty significant. But at the same time, um, a lot of those things were um, like add-on things that you don't need in your house. Um, next, what are our financial you know what are what does our financials look like right now? So currently, we still have a like um a, a pretty significant portion of our house on a credit card that has zero interest, and so we plan on paying that off um, within the next handful of months, um, so that. We are out of credit card debt. Uh, life currently um, is pretty inconvenient, although it's more convenient than it has been in the past. Um, we have no electricity, as in the terms of like having all house electricity. Of course, we have working functional cell phones 
and we have battery banks. We love the company Anchor. If you want to buy a battery bank for your phone or for some other smart device, buy from Anchor, A-N-K-E-R. The link will be below in the description. Um, but we both fully believe that those are really great, great battery banks. Um, so that's how we get our electricity for the most part. We charge them, I'll charge them at work, or Melissa will charge them at her work, and bring them home, they'll be charged, and then you can um, charge your phone as necessary. Um, so for the most part, our laptops, <laughs> we'll charge them when we can, and we'll have them at the house until they die, and then we don't have them anymore. So we mostly just use internet and phone and computers, like electricity with our phones in that regard. We have a solar light that we're able to charge with a solar panel. Also from Biolite, the same company with our stove that we bought. So that's really handy. Um, so we have that light plus another battery lamp that we use at night to keep the light in. Um, one of the really beautiful aspects of life right now in the tiny house is that we um, had this beautiful sliding glass door over over on our end and on one end of the house that overlooks a really beautiful landscape and um, in between two of these hills you've got a, a glimpse of the Catskills and we can see the sun setting every day um, right in that area so it's a really beautiful place and the sun comes right in so there's some nice passive heating and so that's one of the big pluses of where we are right now um, but as I said we don't have electricity and we also don't have running water but that doesn't mean we don't have water so it just means that we don't take any showers or baths or yeah those mainly those two things um, or and we also don't do laundry in the house and so what we can do is we can wash our dishes wash our hands um, with soap obviously and um, it's kind of like camp style and for showers we shower at my parents place when we need to or we also have an agreement with the lady whose land we're renting right now to shower at her place and so so we shower when we need to and um yeah that's basically it and then the clothes like or we wash our clothes also at my parents place right now um so so we're still um so slowly working towards being more self-sufficient. Um, we have a crank, a hand crank, um, a ha hand crank washing machine that is from Wonder Wash, which I can give the link below also in this video. And that's that will work really well once we get around to using it more. Uh, but currently, we just don't use it. And um, we also have a uh, their spinner. Um, dryer that goes along with it that we will eventually use I think once we get the electricity fixed but um, that hopefully gives you a good picture of where we are right now um, and where we're going is we're kind of slowing a little down the house trying to focus on our finances getting our credit card debt paid off and um, just trying to focus on things more that we have always wanted to do but haven't taken the time to do so like Melissa's working a lot more on her on her self, um, trying to improve her health and her wellness by doing more um, workouts and fun activities like that. And also we're both obviously still eating a vegan diet and we're eventually going to go and cleanse ourselves to be raw vegan again. Um, I'm really looking forward to that time because honestly, I felt the best when I was raw vegan. Let us know if you have any comments, suggestions for future videos. We love to hear them. We want to know what you want because ultimately um, you are our audience. So, so tell us what do you want. Thanks so much and see you next time.